Hi friends, welcome back. So glad you could join me today. I have a great recipe for you. We're gonna make Mongolian beef served on rice. This is a showstopper. You're gonna to wanna to see it, so stay tuned. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to get our rice going. So I have a pot going on the stove with two cups of water. I normally put this in my Instant Pot, but I actually have potatoes going on my Instant Pot. So I have some water going, and once it starts boiling, we'll add our rice to it. Cook your rice however you normally cook it. I usually do it, if it's in the Instant Pot, it's a one to one ratio, but if it's on the stove, I do a two to one ratio. And I'm just using basmati rice. That's what I had handy, so that's what we're going to do. Now you're asking, how are we gonna have beef if we're cooking vegan with soy curls? These are butler soy curls. I just got these off of Amazon. They're very easy to find and we're going to rehydrate them. So let me just open this up so I can show you. Grab my bowl. Just so you can see, they're just dried up soy curls. And you can make them whatever you want. You can flavor them however you want. They're very versatile. So these are going, we're going to turn these into um, our beef. So you can turn them into chicken. You can turn them really into whatever you want. You just need to use your imagination. So we're just gonna put these in our bowl and we're gonna set this aside. And now we're going to want to hydrate them first before we're gonna make them into this crispy beef of sorts. So what I have here is some hot water. So I'm going to take my hot water. And the first thing I'm going to do is I have these not beef bouillon cubes. Again, got these on Amazon. I know, I'm bad. I, Amazon is so easy to find stuff. It makes it so much easier when you don't have to shop a hundred different stores. Um, and especially, you don't want to make things harder on yourself than it has to be. So um, there's also better than bouillon. I usually use that too. I have the chicken and I have the vegetable for the be better than bouillon that are the vegan versions, which are really good. So we're going to give that a stir. We want to dissolve it. And to this, I'm actually gonna add some mushroom kind of umami flavor. And, oop, and this is actually, I've gotten this one actually from Trader Joe's. So if you're in the States, Trader Joe's has this. And it's just called Mushroom and Company. And it just adds an umami flavor to it. Just a je ne sais quoi, as they would say. Just gives it a little more depth of flavor. So we're just going to stir this. We want to make sure that the beef bouillon is all dissolved. And then we're going to stir it or pour it over our soy curls. Okay. And this is as about as hard as this gets. I'm going to add a little extra hot water just so that the soy curls a little more incorporate it. My water is now going, so I'm going to add my rice, give it a quick stir just to make sure it's incorporated, put the lid on, turn the heat down, and we're just going to let that go. So we're just going to let our soy curls sit. They're going to need about 10 minutes. And then once they've hydrated, we're gonna squeeze them and then we're gonna move on. So we're just gonna let those sit. That is hot. You just wanna make sure that they're gonna absorb. You can stir them around, okay? So you can make like a beef, orange beef with this. You can make a mandarin chicken with these soy curls. You can make whatever you want with these soy curls. These are great. So they're like, sort of like the textured protein um, that you can get. So again, these are things that you're going to use all the time. They just add so much versatility to the things that we can make and eat. 
they just add a lot. Okay, so we're going to let that sit and we're going to talk about our sauce. Our soy curls have reconstituted it and they're nice and soft. They've absorbed the marinade. They're all rehydrated. So now actually what we want to do is we want to squeeze them to get as much out of them because we want them now to crisp up. So now that they've absorbed some of the flavors of the beef broth, so now we want to squeeze as much of that liquid out. I'm just going to lay it out. Just take your time. We're here. We're just chillaxing and having a good time. So if this is your first time on my channel, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. So on my channel, you're going to find vegan restaurant recipes that are quick and easy. I try to make everything quick and easy and tasty. If there's anything that you're missing or you're thinking about going vegan, leave me a comment down below. Let me know a recipe that you'd like me to try to make vegan for you. Or if you're looking for a brand of cheese or something that you're looking for. I mean, we all have different taste buds, but sometimes it's hard to find something that you're looking for. Um, and things do vary between, you know, the United States, Canada, wherever, wherever you are. But that's what we're all here for. We're all on a journey, and I hope that I can encourage you or at least get you to try at least one dish. And this is a good dish to try. This dish my husband loves. So again, we have our rice cooking on the back burner there. Now this dish you could make um, starch so solution friendly by actually baking the soy curls in the oven. I'm actually going to put them um, in a skillet with a little bit of oil, but you could bake them in the oven or put them in an air fryer. But in this case, I am going to use a little bit of oil. And this is just special occasion, whatever. I try not to beat myself up on stuff. We all should be just doing the best we can every day. And again, no judgment here. Let's just be kind to everybody. And encourage everybody. Okay, so there we go. So now we have our soy curls. You could use a dish towel. I probably should have. In my hands, a quick wipe. Okay. So now how we're going to make them crispy is easy. We are going to use cornstarch. You could use arrowroot. Um, yeah, I would use arrowroot or cornstarch. I wouldn't use... Uh, rice flour, but I would use arrowroot or cornstarch. So what we're going to do is in small batches, we're going to toss and then just pat dry. So what we're going to do is in our pan, have a little bit of oil. We're going to put that on high. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start dredging them. And then you want to make sure they're nicely coated. Pat them off. Okay. So now that they've been dried and they're padded, this is what's going to make them crispy. This. Just let them fall between your fingers. There we go. So, and as always, recipe is going to be down below. And just to make it easier for you. And if you're new here, Thank you for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon in the corner so you know every time I've uploaded a new video. Um, 
Everything's always changing here on YouTube with those algorithms and stuff, so that way you'll never miss any of my videos. You'll see all my new recipes. And I'm always exploring and trying new stuff all the time. There we go. Okay. So now that's pretty well incorporated. These are all incorporated and we're ready to go. And we're actually going to cook these in batches because we don't want the oil to drop too low, to, the temperature of the oil to drop too low too quickly. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to take one. Nope, not ready. So if it doesn't sizzle, not ready, and we don't want to do that. Sorry, getting cornstarch everywhere. Be a little neater than I am. Okay, so we're just going to wait for our oil to heat up. The rice is almost cooked. And then once our soy curls are cooked, that right down, we'll be able to make our sauce. The sauce is very simple. We'll mix it right now. We'll get part of it mixed. So we have soy sauce. And again, with kind of Asian flavors, it's, you know, sweet, sour, salty. We're going to balance it all out. So we had our soy sauce, water, we have our brown sugar, we have red pepper flakes. I'm only putting a little bit of red pepper flakes in. You like it's really spicy, you put more in. We're going to have ginger, garlic. There we go. And the cornstarch here is going to thicken this one up. There. And we're just going to put that aside until we're ready to do our sauce. Right? No rocket science yet? Okay. Our oil should be raring to go. Okay. So we're just going to do this in little batches. It takes a few minutes. As long as your oil is nice and hot, should be about 350 degrees. You want it to sizzle when it's hitting. We're going to stir it around. Want it to brown on all sides. Now, if you're going to do it in the oven, I would put it in the oven at about 400 to 425 for about 20 minutes. And again, you want it to be brown. Going to let that finish cooking. And then we're just going to keep on doing batches. Okay, so all of our soy curls are now cooked. Mmm, and delicious. Now we're going to make our sauce. We're going to put our pot back on the plan. I've cleaned it out. And we're going to put in some ginger. So you can grate this in. I freeze my ginger just because it's easier. I peel it and then I stick it in the freezer. That way it never goes bad. Lasts a lot longer than I always have it when I want it, and I don't have to worry about it drying out. So I'm just going to chop it up nice and finely. And again, you could also just grate it right into the, I have about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of oil in my pan. I have it getting hot. And we want to mince this finely. Okay. Okay. So 
we're going to stick this in our pan. Can you hear the sizzle? Awesome. Oh, it's going to smell so good in here in a couple of seconds. We have our sauce ingredients. These are pretty well all things that most people, I mean, I know. I think everybody has soy sauce and red pepper flakes and I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Mmm, the ginger is so fragrant. I'm going to add some garlic. This is just jarred garlic, you know, the minced garlic that you buy. Keep it simple. going to remove it from the heat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let that cook. And make sure our Everything is incorporated in our sauce. It's bubbling away. We're going to add our sauce. Now, I'm only using a teaspoon of the red pepper flakes. You could go up to a tablespoon or two if you like it really hot. I only like it a little bit hot sometimes. So now, the ginger and the garlic have now browned. It smells really good in here. And now we're going to add our sauce to the party. And don't forget, we have cornstarch in our sauce, so that's what's going to thicken up our sauce. We're going to stir this around a little bit. And once it starts thickening, we're going to throw back our soy curls in here, and that's going to start coating and thickening up. And this is going to be not only a party on our plate, but a party in our mouths because it's going to taste so good. Okay, so just be careful and turn that off now. If it thickens up too much on you, just add some water. We're going to thin it out a little bit and then we're going to add in our soy curls. Yes, that's what we're talking about. See, there's add even a little bit more water. There we go. I moved the camera. I went a little too far, but see, nothing we can't fix. That's what I want. Just everybody to relax, enjoy themselves in the kitchen. Okay, now we're going to add our soy curls back in. Everybody's going to go swimming in the... See how nice and crispy those are? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now I know when you first start doing this, I've done this quite a few times. When you first start tossing it, you're going to say, hey, Vicki Lynn, there's not enough sauce in there. But you'll see, the soy curls will Soften up a little bit and release a little bit of juice, and you're going to have enough. If you like it super saucy, you could double the recipe. Just give it a toss. Mm. All right, everything's nicely coated. We're all set to plate this up. So we are all set to plate this up. Our rice is done. Let's fluff it up. I love this long grain basmati rice. It's so good. So we're just going to put that in the middle of our plate. Again, as much as you want. I'm going to make this look pretty. 
little bit of our beef. Get some green onions here. We're going to slice them on the bias, so diagonally. Just sprinkle a few on top. A couple of sesame seeds, just to top it off. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. I'm having such a great time. This is so easy. Give it a try. Let me give it a try. And again, don't forget, subscribe down below. I hope you're here for the next one. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Send me a comment. Tell me you're new here. I'd love to welcome you to our little community here. And enjoy this recipe. See you soon.